Hey people, I'm gonna go ahead and show you another, um, kinda totally random tutorial. Um, this would be on the map, um, I think it's RAS-02E, let's see, yeah, RAS-02E. So, go to the editor and open that map, open this map. And I want to show you guys how to make some cool little effects in the distance. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, so go to the Actor Class browser and go down to Emitter. Now look for Sep Ship. CFX underscore sep ship underscore lasers underscore v ver one and then select it and right click and add it. Let's see if we can actually find it. <laughs> um yeah, it's kind of glitchy because when I record, it messes the computer up a little bit. Um, so we can move this. And this is what it'll actually look like. I mean, no, sorry, this is what it looks like in the thing. This is not what it will actually look like. Um, so you can do cool things with this like right click on it and duplicate it and then point it the other way or another way and move it over and then do that a couple times in various places but make sure that the lasers won't that it's not facing the map because what this is is it'll show up in the game as a bunch of lasers flying through space or like guns and stuff so now um Go to static message, me meshes and bring down the top drop down menu and go to the very bottom and find vehicle message, mes meshes. <laughs> I can't say that word. Um, and then look at confederacy. It should be the first one there. Find sep ship. and then you can make this smaller and then this little button down here it, it's a little square and on each face it has an arrow um, click on that and find the ship now in order for this to work you may need to change its properties so right click on it Go to Actor Properties, and then go to um, Display, Ambient Glow, and move it up to, I'd say about here. And then you can exit that out. And then rotate it. And then use this window. Whoa, it's lagging. To move it around. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm kind of having some trouble because it's lagging so bad. Um, so move the ship to. Whoa, that's too far. <laughs> way too far. Er, I can't do this. 
I don't know why it's not working very well. Um, I don't know, move it, the ship for a distance from the from the map itself. So that should be far enough. Now right click on it. So, um select mover and then click key zero base. And then go to mover again and select key one. Then you're gonna wanna move the ship. I can try to use this one again. Hope it'll work for me now. Um whoa yeah it didn't really work so well. Um that's about far enough. And then click on it, mover, key zero base again. And it should return to its spot. Um, right click on it, go to its actor properties, go to object, go to initial state, bring down the drop down menu, click on looping, and then take it away. Um, just so you know, you may need to make the ship f go further away from the map itself for it to look right. Um, I'm just guessing right now. Um, anyway, and then go to Mover, scroll down to Move Times, and on the first thing you see, select it and put, say, 40. Now subtract it, subtract that, exit, and you can add, you can do the same thing with a bunch of different static meshes. Um, this for instance, um, I really like to do this, um, this is a pretty cool static mesh to do. Um, yeah, so let's just check out how that looks right now. I mean, there's not a lot of stuff, but, you know. Um, see you guys. Background junk. <laughs> save. Remember, we don't want it, we want to save it different from its original name. Now... Start Star Wars Public Commando. Start the game. And I may not be able to finish this in time, but you should be able to play it and see what it looks like yourself. Okay, open. Back. Let's just use some cheats. So here's what it looks like from the bridge. And as you can see, it's pretty epic looking. Um, you should be able to see the ship going through. Um, there it is. It kind of looks like it's emerging from hyperspace. Um, yeah. So it's gonna go over to where we set it to go and then return and continue to do that same cycle over and over again. Anyway, um, thank you for watching, and uh, happy modding!